Mother Earth, the protector of all creations. She is the universal mother who nourishes and cares her children in her womb. In the 21st century, we find people wanting to lead a luxury and lavish life. We want ourselves to reach greater heights and achieve every success in life. On the contrary, the concept of care and concern to other individuals has reduced. In the healthcare field, we have several professions dealing with the patients. So we have the medical field, we have the nursing field, we have the allied field. Several fields are coming together to render the patient care. Nursing is one of the profession which is having the largest workforce in the healthcare field to deal with the patients. So what is nursing? So nursing is caring for the patient. Is it alone? No, it's something more than that. If we are to see the several explanations given, where we are giving a holistic care to the patient, considering all the domains, that is the physical domain of the patient, maybe the psychological domain, the spiritual domain, or the physiological, taking into all the account, the care given to the patient is what nursing is all about. Creating image is very important. So what will happen when we improve our image in the society? Definitely, people will respect us. There will be more attractions towards us. It's very easy to destroy the image, but we know it's very difficult to create a good image in the society. When we look at the great people who have left their image in the society, namely Mahatma Gandhiji, Subhash Chandra Bose, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Mother Teresa, who have left their great images and there are lots of followers for those people. And they are a real inspiration for us because of the image that they have left in the society. The core meaning of life, care and compassion to each other is nowadays found only in books and speeches rather than in real life. In case if it is still found, it is only because of the divine presence within a person. Amidst all this, a profession which strongly stands based on a great foundation of pure care and compassion, which goes 24 into 7, day and night, without a break or rest, which is well known among the all mankind, is nursing, the biggest task force of healthcare. Image is something which reflects the person's own identity to the society. It's the way the people carry out themselves that they create identity in the society. Now creating such identity in society is very essential because that gives more respect to them in the society and that brings out something good from them to the society. And that is where people get attracted towards those people. Coming to the historical perspective of nursing in India, it goes to 19th century, the beginning, and the early 20th century. So in the 19th century, when the British were in India, so they wanted the nurses to take care of the wounded soldiers. So at that time, the British nurses were brought from England to India to, be, to nurse the wounded soldiers. But these nurses were not sufficient in number. So they wanted to train the Indian nurses. So that's how the Indian nurses started getting trained by the British nurses. So this is the starting point of nursing in India. It's very essential that every person has to have an image in society. Irrespective of the work that we do, we need to establish our own identity in society. How a profession can attract some others into that profession is based on the image the person has in society. Florence Nightingale, the pioneer of modern nursing, started the hospital, St. Thomas Hospital in London. So the nurses came from there to India 
and they are the one who are trained the nurses and are the one who has started several training programs in India. So overcoming the social taboos and barriers, several people have entered the profession of nursing. But even then, the public, the society were not looking at them in a favorable manner. They were looked down upon for taking up the profession of nursing, saying that it's a menial job, they have to touch the strange people, they have to take the care for the patient, they have to bathe them, to care of their menial needs, so on. So all these things didn't lift up the societal status of the nursing profession. Comparative studies state that the professions that deal with non-living objects and machines which may not have contact with the people and hardly risk their lives for others are paid better but nurses who risk their lives listen and respond to the suffering, communicate and handle every sensitive situation and emergency are never paid for what they actually deserve. Every profession has its own image in society. Like any other profession, nursing also has its own image. I am working in nursing profession, so I would like to talk about nursing image in positive as well as in negative way. The positive image is that nursing education is based on certain standards and which have been practiced and relevant even today from ancient time. Like any other profession, Research is also being conducted in nursing profession and the findings from the nursing research are applied to the clinical setting for the improvement of the patient care. These days if we see nurses are given more autonomy compared to olden days in their workplace setting. Nurses conduct lot of continuing nursing educations to update their knowledge and they do play independent role in organizing the camps, the health education, promotion of the health in the society as well as in school and child health programs. So they get involved in lot of activities independently because of the extended and expanded role of the nurse in the society these days. So in 1950s, we also had the starting of the regulatory body of the country, that is Indian Nursing Council, which was, act was passed by the parliament and it was gazetted. So this again gave an upliftment to the profession of nursing in India. So this, the starting of the bachelorate program and the inclusion of the regulatory body, that is Indian Nursing Council in India, we can definitely say it gave a boost to the profession of nursing in the country also and increased the nursing profession into the stream of other healthcare profession along with the medical profession to say. But did it proceed from here? So there were several needs for the nurses number to be increased. So we had the aspiring nurses who were passed out from these institutions coming out with the flying colors but with a good clinical knowledge as well as theoretical knowledge who could be called as a really or truly professional nurses. Is creative thinking appreciated in nursing practice and nursing education? The answer could be yes and no. But most of the time it could be no because we have seen nurses carrying out lot of research studies as a partial fulfillment of their postgraduate uh, studies, postgraduate degree. Even at now basic level, students from BSc Nursing, they do various projects. Nurses attend various conferences, seminars, workshops, national and international. But when it comes to practice of what they have done, what they have heard, it is poor. The reason could be that first, they have no time for creative thinking and creative putting into practice. Secondly, they are not interested. They feel what I am doing is more than enough. That's such type of feelings. Now, I am not saying it with all the nurses, but most of the time it is so. We have seen that so many of our research projects that are done by the students are in the cupboards 
of the libraries, but they are not put into practice. And sometimes, even if these projects are done by the students in the hospital setting, which are helped by the other fraternity of the medicine, yet when it comes to practice, that is not, not well accepted, just because it is done by a nurse. That is why I feel the nurses need to be very assertive in what they are doing, what they are thinking and what they are doing. They need to be knowledgeable, they need to be skillful. Then only they should get together, they must get together, join together and as a team, the new innovations that are done, new thinkings that are there, which are helpful for providing better quality patient care or better education to the student should be put into practice either in the nursing institutions, educative institutions or in the hospital setting, wherever one is placed with. The underprivileged and rural areas of this country address male nurses as its sisters, basically a term used to address female nurses. They are mistaken as attendant or a ward boy, sometimes physician assistant due to their white uniform and their address has compounders in the community settings. Nursing from the age old days is basically considered to be a female oriented profession and this image still continues to exist. Although a lot of trends and changes has been taken place in many countries. In our country, gender issue in nursing is a debatable concept. Even today, few people think that the entry of male nurses is questionable and unacceptable in Indian society. Male nurses experience obstacles and dissatisfaction in their profession. In addition, lack of support, lower scope of creativity, brings insecurity and threat to nurses regarding their future. India is the largest democracy and uh, where male nurses are very less, though the nursing professionals are more and they are mostly female. So, there is, there is the chance for male nurses also to join this profession because this profession is not meant only for the uh, female, it is for the male also and uh, our patients or our beneficiaries are not only one gender, they are also both genders are there. So this is uh, the, this should be the actual criteria that male nurses more and more to join for this profession and uh, they should bring a change in the health sector, patient care sector or Nursing Ithias Vanu, Nodaga, Namgathilbur Ocean Andre, Christa Puro Dindalu Saita, Genru, even the nursing Tarada Seveno, Vodagis Kondabandidro, other Florence Nightingale and Ormatra, even the profe nursing and no professional course agi, Gurtisedro, other Yigina, Janasama near on the Perical Penanagi Dendre, nurse and the Takshana on the Enu and Bavane Bandide, Idu Tapu. Nursing only Gandu Matu Enina Patra Saman Vagide. Propensa Adyantha and Nadasir Antha Adyana Prakara Gandina on the Seve Enina Seve Ste Truptikara Nidide. So there is a need to stop these norms, orders, and uh, uh, selection of the nurses, only female nurses. These all ideas should stop and these uh, all no rules should stop. Nurse, nursing should open a arena of the male nurses and they should take more and more male nurses and they must uh, appreciate a male person who is working nursing even if not only that uh, they can care their family, their uh, children, their uh, parents but they can even take care of patients. Nana Prakara. Samajada, Mano Vidyanam Vishleshidaga, Kandubura de Nandre, E. Nursinga Anadu, Undu Tayente, Seve Madva Vritiagide, Yakendre, patients unconscious Agidaga, a bedridden Agidaga, our gay Wuta Kodanta Dagirbodu, our Nas Nana Marsu Dagin Agirbodu, our gay Aushodo Pacharagla Nidun Tagadu, Undu Tayente, Seve Madbekate. Adre, even though Tara the Sevege, 
ನಮ್ಮ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಕಳಿಸ್ಬೇಕಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಭಾವನೆ ಜನರಲ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯಾರು ಸಹಿತ ಈ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ಗೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನ ಕಳಿಸ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಇದೊಂದು ಕಾರಣ ಆಗಿದೆ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ಗೆ ಜನರು ಬೇರೆ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ಗೆ ತೋರಿಸುವ ಒಂದು ಗೌರವವನ್ನು ಈ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ಗೆ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಸಹಿತ ಒಂದು ಕಾರಣವಾಗಿದೆ ಜನರಲ್ಲಿ ಸೇವಾ ಮನೋಭಾವನೆ ದಿನೇ ದಿನೇ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಒಂದು ಸೇವಾ ಮನೋಭಾವನೆ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗೋದ್ರೆ ಮುಂದೊಂದು ದಿನ ಯಾರು ಸಹಿತ ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲದಂತಹ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಆದುದರಿಂದ ಸಮಾಜದ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬ ನಾಗರಿಕನೂ ಸಹಿತ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹಿಸಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ವೃತ್ತಿಯ ಬೆಳವಣಿಗೆ ಆಗುವಂತೆ ಸಹಕರಿಸಬೇಕು ಆಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಈ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಏಳಿಗೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ್ರೈಟ
for anyone to enter into the profession of nursing in 2017. So you can say mainly maybe 20 to 25 percent of the nurses remain in the country and the rest go outside. So that is the one reason, main reason. We have the status of the nursing being improved not only in the economical aspects, even in the social aspects to greater extent. If not, we would not be at this juncture saying that nursing is a profession. We would have lost it long back in our battle to acquire a status. If I do compare the profession, how it entered into the country and how today, there is a lot of difference or I should say there is a lot of gap in positive as well as negative. Has there been any development if you have to say yes, there is a development. We have many colleges, we have many courses as much as the doctorate level of courses. But when it comes to the actual practical side, the touch which we had in the earlier times are replaced with the high technology care. So that is a major difference I should say at this 2017. Although there are different levels in nursing studies that range from AM to PhD nursing, the contribution to the society and profession is never recognized. Job vacancies for nurses both in private and government sector go up to BSc nurses and no vacancy is found for nurses with higher degrees. Doing doctorate and post-doctorate in nursing have still remained optional and has still not been recognized as additional qualification for a better post at supervisory or administrative level. Most of the time, nurses, after they have completed their basic education, especially the graduation program, some of them would opt to be postgraduates and few of them to be doctorate in nursing. But most of the nurses, after they have completed their graduation, they get into a job and we can see that upgrading themselves as well as updating themselves, especially with regard to knowledge and skill is poor in the Indian system. Especially if the hospitals offer them any skill building courses, knowledge building courses, then they take it up. If not, if such courses are not given to them, then the upgradation and updating themselves is very poor by the nurses. What could be the reasons for this? As I look at them, most of the nurses are uh, family members. They are mothers, they are sisters, they are wives and they have to look after the family. As a result, the six hour shift, seven hour shift or eight hour shift, that itself becomes too hectic for them and they don't have time to spend in updating themselves. In spite of all that, there are a few nurses who want to improve their knowledge and skill time to time and they take up various short term courses in order to build their career life. But I feel since the new technologies, new procedures, new method of doing things are coming in every day, nurses need to upgrade themselves, take up short term courses or at least spare some time out of the routine to go to the libraries of the hospitals or of the colleges and get their knowledge um, motivated, get themselves motivated, get their knowledge improved so that they can be better in their setting wherever they are working. ಹಾಗೂ ಹೊಸ ಉಪಕರಣಗಳ ಬಳಕೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅದರ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅರಿತುಕೊಳ್ಳುವುದು ತುಂಬಾ ಅತ್ಯಗತ್ಯವಾಗಿದೆ We did a social experiment to know how many of youth of this country would like to take nursing as the profession in their future life. I want to become a doctor, one of our toughest tennis players. I want to be a swimmer. I want to become an IS officer. I want to become a badminton player. I want to become a scientist. I want to become an engineer. I want to become a tennis player. I want to become a scientist. I want to become a professional tennis player. I want to become an orthopedist. I want to become a forensic scientist. Soldier. I want to become a sportsman. 
I want to become a sportsman. I want to become a mechanical engineer. I want to become a mechanical engineer. When we speak about the psychology of youth, I feel that they are uh, uh, very choosy and are uh, searching for whatever is best for them. They think what is best for them. Uh, for example, when we think about their career, future career, till they study, they are plus two, they are like bindas, they are not interested in studying well. Only a few children will be having their goal, future goal. But most of them study because their parents are asking them to study and they are supposed to be studying or passing. But then after they have completed their plus two and when they have to choose their career or their profession, then they think what will be the next. Most of the children, according to the advice of the parents um, and looking into what their peer group parents and others are doing, they are attracted towards medical uh, towards engineering, towards technology, etc. My, always I begin to think, why are the youth not attracted towards nursing? Of course, it is a female dominated profession, but not at present there are also males working in nursing profession. I feel there is something lacking with us in our society. I know that nurses are needed uh, for their care when they are hospitalized. They expect the best nurses, they expect the best care. But parents do not instill that seed in their children saying that they must be a best caregiver, best nurse, study well, join a nursing college and provide care for the patients. That doesn't happen. Because society considers that nursing is something below medical, below engineering, below technology or whatever other professions are. Of my opinion, I feel nursing is one of the best profession where one can stand on her or his own legs uh, along with being a humanitarian or humane in her approaches, in his approaches while providing care for her patients. The idea of nursing profession is that it is considered as low grade profession by most of our educated society. The biggest task force of healthcare sector are considered as slaves and handmaids instead of considering them as fully fledged, independent and autonomous professionals. They are not considered as health team but assistance for other healthcare fraternities. Many times the decision making authority for nurses are non-nursing professionals who may not be aware of training and skill development by nurses achieved during their study period. We have the huge demand but the supply is minimal to the government sector. So in the 7th pay commission the government has made a great effort to increase the salary of the nurses, the pay packages, allowances in par with other health professionals. But when it is not sufficient, we have several nursing unions also demanded the government to equate them with all the other equal level of other professionals. So that is the state that we are able to bargain with the government as to what is our need, what are our things. And the government is reciprocating in calling the nursing leaders for talk. This is a great development to see when there were nobody in the profession of nursing to take up the leadership role. So to come to the negative aspect again in the leadership aspect, we have a lot of void in certain sectors of the nursing because it is a female dominated profession. Many would not like to come out of there, cause the nature of comfort zone and come out and fight. So for want of these things, we are strongly lacking a or independent professional body who could fight for the cause of the nurses. So we are always in issue based unions or the issue based associations. So the main need of the hour we should say it as having the directorate of nursing in all the states who can go forward with the demand of the nurses and fight for their causes and make them independent. Today it is not independent. It is dependent on other professionals and many of the positions are occupied by the medical counterparts 
who are non nursing professionals directing the nursing profession so that is one of the sadder part of today so this even though we say we are an independent profession it makes us dependent on other professionals ಒಂದು ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಏನಿದೆ ಅದೊಂದು ಪೇಶೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಯಾವಾಗ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ಗೆ ಬಂದು ತಮ್ಮ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ನ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನ ಅನಲೈಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೆಡಿಕ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ರು ಕೂಡ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ನರ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ರೂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೈನ್ ಕ್ರೆಡೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಇಯರ್ ಅಥವಾ ಟೂ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ರೆಕ್ರೂಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗೆ ಒಂದು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲಾದ್ರೂ ನೀವು ಟ್ಯೂಟರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀರಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅದು ಕೂಡ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ stigmatized option towards nursing fear of change and challenges insecurity of overpowering do not allow advancement in greater pace the evidence based results brought out by nurse researchers are kept only in the shelves of the rooms but not put to practice due to lack of support let us consider what is the view of the present day youth regarding nursing profession most of the time nurses are depicted very poorly especially in the cinemas or the dramas that they are uh, are made but i have interviewed quite a few students why have you chosen nursing when it is when this question is asked they usually say that my mother was admitted or someone of mine was admitted and i visited the hospital and i have seen a nurse who are, who is providing such beautiful care with smile and with commitment and that has given me a good example and i thought i should be so that is how many have chosen nursing that way but most of our youth do not have this picture they usually watch movies dramas where nurses are portrayed very badly and as a result youth begin to think oh this is not good for me and as a result they may not choose nursing profession a uh, kind advice for all those who portrays such type of image of the nurses to the society is that they must really visit the area visit the workplace of a nurse and see actually what they are doing what the nurses are doing how beautifully they do and care for the people and if at all uh, a good image of the nurse is projected to the society especially in the dramas movies or plays or whatever then i am sure that will motivate the present day youth to choose nursing and they would also make themselves uh, experts in providing knowledge and skill and care in 2000 we could see mushrooming of the many private institution seeing the nursing students getting admitted to several institutions so the booming of the education institution in the nursing field was a very viable option so it was started with a business purpose so the students who are entering the profession increased in numbers so that is the quantity that was increased but what about the quality of the nursing graduates who are coming out of this institution so that they could contribute to the development of the profession was it there yes and no if i say yes yes because we could get many trained nurses but when i say no these trained nurses didn't have the adequate knowledge and skill because the training that was given to them was inadequate the regulatory bodies who has the main role of accrediting institution who are producing these nurses were not regulated adequately with the with want of the teaching faculty the clinical materials the graduates were coming out and into the healthcare setup were very much inadequately trained so this again led to the very negative image of the nursing among the not only the healthcare profession even among the general public so we are again back taking one step ahead again going back so what is the solution for this so came the role of the nursing research the nursing research development the main role was given in the post graduate courses the post graduate courses of nursing even though they were present few years before 
in two institutions of excellence in the country, that is RIK College of Nursing and CMC Vellu, we didn't have much of the other institutions offering the postgraduate nursing courses. So we had several postgraduate nursing courses coming up in the beginning of the 21st century, which also catered to the upliftment of the nurses in the career ladder who obtained the degrees. But this could be seen only in the private sector. What about the government sector? The government sector, even till today, prefers the nurses mainly with the diploma nursing qualifications because of the laws or the policy that is made age old, which has not been changed. We do not have much of the scope for the postgraduate nurses, the development in the profession. And what about the pace, which is the most important one that decides the societal acceptance of any profession into it. The private nurses were paid, if I to say, it's a peanuts compared to the payment that is received by the government nurses. A government nurse, when in their tenure, after maybe 20-25 years of service, who may be earning up to 60-65,000, their counterpart in the private sector earns hardly 6 to 10,000. So this again raises the question of acceptance. So the private sector exploited these nurses to a greater extent. Inadequate working conditions, inadequate facilities, inadequate welfare measures, again, led to the poor acceptance of society towards the nursing because if one could see them in a working in a very, for a meager salary, in a very unacceptable conditions, how do you expect one to have a very good professional image? So keeping this in mind, in a nursing council has filed a petition saying that to look into the wages as well as the working condition of the nurses and the Supreme Court has directed the Trained Nurses Association of India to look into the private sector nurses features. The, that is the salary, the working condition, the welfare measures. And the report when submitted. And it, when it, the reports were made public, it was found that it was the nurses were working in a very pathetic conditions. And based on the recommendations given by the committee, the court has made an observation and directed all the state governments to make an immediate attempt to direct the private hospitals or the nursing homes or the clinics to pay the nurses in par with the central government or the state government salaries as well as provide them the welfare measures like for example maternity leaves or the ESA benefits. So we could see that the government is also looking towards the upliftment of the nursing profession. The question is why among the nurses there is a failure to adhere to the standards? Nursing students, when they go through their curriculum, they study the nursing standards, code of ethics, professional standards, etc. But when they are employed in a setting, they find very difficult to put the standards into practice or majority of them do not do it. What could be the reason? The reason could be that they are not knowing the standards or they, they have studied for the sake of the examination and now they do not remember anything about the standards. Secondly, they are not confident. Self-confidence is poor. Thirdly, also fear of making a mistake. Fourthly, how will the fear of how will the professional team will accept me? This could be few of the reasons which I can just say why nurses fail to adhere to the standards. They would always like to be subservient doing the work that is told to do and not to take a responsibility. But if nurses adhere to the standards, then they would make themselves very, very respectful, accepted, not only that, all the other health care team professionals, members, would take the advice of the nurses in providing the best care for their clients. My name is Radeepu Anta. 2010 LBS nursing complete. I have been doing this for 
ನನಗೆ ತುಂಬನೇ ಆಸೆ ಇತ್ತು ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಲೈಫಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತು ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಹೆಸರು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಪೇಷಂಟಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಕೇರ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇದೇ ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದ ನಾನು ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗೆ ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ಸೇರಿಕೊಂಡೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನನಗಾಗಿರುವಂಥ ಅನುಭವ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಿ ಎನ್ ಎಮ್ಮು ಎ ಎನ್ ಎಮ್ಮು ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಮೂರು ಜನಕ್ಕೂ ಒಂದೇ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಥರದ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದರಿಂದಾಗಿ ನನಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಬೇಜಾರಾಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಪಿ ಯು ಸಿ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ವರ್ಷ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಇಷ್ಟು ದುಡ್ಡು ಖರ್ಚು ಮಾಡಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಸಿಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ತುಂಬ ಬೇಜಾರಾಗಿದೆ ಆದ್ದರಿಂದ ಹತ್ತು ತಿಂಗಳು ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾನು ಸಹ ಇದೇ ಕೆಲಸನ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದಾಗಿತ್ತು ಸೊ ನಾನು ನನ್ನ ಸಲಹೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಜಿ ಎನ್ ಎಮ್ಮು ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಮತ್ತು ಎ ಎನ್ ಎಮ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದೇ ಆದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಆದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಐಡೆಂಟಿ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ನಾಲ್ಕು ವರ್ಷಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಅರ್ಥ ಇದೆಯಾ ನಾನು ಮೂರು ವರ್ಷ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮುಗಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಲಸ ನಾನು ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಫಸ್ಟು ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಐ ಸಿ ಯು ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ದೆ ಐ ಸಿ ಯುಲಿ ಏನೇ ಕಷ್ಟ ಬಂದರು ಏನೇ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಬಂದ್ರೂ ಅಂದರೆ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಥರ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಎಚ್ ಒನ್ ಎನ್ ಒನ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಗಳು ಬಿದ್ದು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಚ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಪೇಷೆಂಟ್ಗಳು ಇರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಎಲ್ಲನೂ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಆ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಮೇಲ್ ಮೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರೂ ಓಹ್ ಅವ್ರು ಬೇಡ ಈ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ಗಳು ಬೇಡ ಅವ್ರು ಬೇಡ ಅಂತ ಒಬ್ಬೊಬ್ಬರು ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಿದ್ದಿಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗ ಏನಾಗೋದು ನಾವು ನಮಗೆ ಬೇಜಾರಾಗೋದು ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾವು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನ ಇಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ನಮಗೆ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಿಗಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ನ ಮೂರು ವರ್ಷ ಓದಿ ಸಾವಿರ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಲೋನ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ತುಂಬ ಕಷ್ಟಪಟ್ಟು ಓದಿ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ತುಂಬ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ರೋಗಿಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕೇರ್ ತೊಗೊಳ್ತಿರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಂಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ನಾವು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಕೂಡ ನಮಗೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದರೇ ಆದ ತಕ್ಕ ಪ್ರತಿಫಲ ನಮಗೆ ಸಿಗ್ತೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗೂ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಗೆ ಜವಾಬ್ದಾರಿಯುತವಾಗಿ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮವಾಗಿ ವೈಜ್ಞಾನಿಕವಾಗಿ ಕೇರ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಮೇಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಬೆಲೆ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬ ಬೇಜಾರಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಜನ್ರೇಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಿರೋ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಈಗ ಮ ಸಮಾಜ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನೋಡ್ತಿರೋ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಕೋನದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬ ನೋವಾಗ್ತದೆ ನಾನು ಈ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಆದರೂ ಕೂಡ ತುಂಬ ನೋವಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ನರ್ಸಸ್ ಡೇ ವಿ ಆಸ್ ನರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈವ್ ಟು ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ so i would say there are three key elements that would help to improve our practice they are very simple the first one is a patient centered approach that is giving importance to your patient the patient is the key element he is the king the second one would be communicating well with the multidisciplinary team that is your colleagues third one have a positive attitude you have good days and bad days take the good ones leave the bad ones behind happy nurses day once more nursing kshetravu eshto kutumbagalige aadharavagiddu samajadalli uttama gaurava sthana manavannu saha padidide ನರ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿಯಲ್ ಮಿಲಿಟರಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿಗಳು ಸಹ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ನರ್ಸಸ್ ಗಳು ಸಹಾಯ ಮನೋಭಾವವುಳ್ಳ ವೃತ್ತಿಯಾಗಿರುತ್ತದೆ ಒಂದು ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಮೋಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ಬರೋವಂತವ್ರಿಗೆ ನರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹಳನೇ ಒಂದು ದಾರಿಗಳಿದೆ ಒಂದು ಓಪನ್ ವೇ ಇದೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ನ ಏನು ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಗಳಿಗೆ ಆಗ್ಬಹುದು ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗಳಿಗೆ ನೀವು ಏನ್ ಕೊಡ್ತೀರಾ ಸೊ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಕನಾಮಿಕಲ್
governed and regulated by nurses alone. And the second most important vision that I would like to have, every nurse who passed out of the institution would love to work in India alone and the government would facilitate the working condition in such a way that no nursing graduate would want to go outside the country and would love to practice nursing in India itself. ನಮ್ಮ ಭಾರತ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ವಿಪರೀತವಾಗಿ ಏರುತ್ತಿರುವ ಜನಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಅನೇಕ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳನ್ನು ತಂದೊಡ್ಡಿದೆ ಇಂತಹ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳನ್ನು ಹತೋಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿಡಲು ಶುಶ್ರೂಷಕರ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಅತಿ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿದೆ ಈ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಸಂಘ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಗಳು ಖಾಲಿ ಇರುವ ಶುಶ್ರೂಷಕರ ಹುದ್ದೆಯನ್ನು ಭರ್ತಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಆಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ಒಂದು ಸದೃಢ ಉತ್ತಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯಯುಕ್ತ ಭಾರತವನ್ನು ಕಟ್ಟಲು ಸಾಧ್ಯ nursing considered to be a noble profession must be publicized with a better image so that the society is aware of its contributions in the healthcare field every individual need care and support and a nurse do it with heart and interest nursing is the heart of every hospital in fact healthcare industry heart is the universal symbol where love exists and when love exists it is the place where god dwells in